What is up everybody, my name is Alex, welcome back to Taxi KTV and let's play Galaxy on Fire 2. Uh, in the meantime, I've been doodling around a bit, I'm visiting a few systems, but uh, now, people, it's gonna be very dangerous because we have to travel to a dangerous system called Enya. Oh boy. Let's go. And uh, it's in the Kato system, well... If we have to, then we have to. And that one actually looks like the Enterprise. Goodbye, mister. Meow. Right into the face. Face! I have the convoy with a meter fighter escort. I have to get rid of them without damaging the convoy ships. Right. So if you were wondering, that dude here is actually the the fighter that I hired for to, to, to uh, you know work for me. So that's why he actually fires at things. You, my dear sir, are are dead. Pretty quickly. Um, let's see. You, my dear sir, shall be dead. Within a second. Oh, one thing that I probably did not mention. Uh, I actually bought a. I bought a um, tractor beam that automatically um, gets things for you, which is pretty neat, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm full. Brent, key here. Well done. Finally, the Brent, key here. The Mito ships are destroyed and the situation is under control. Well done. Finally, the convoy can get to Nima. You should return here so we can discuss our next move. Right. That's what I will be doing. Right? No, I do not want to jump into the car, uh, to the system, but I want to go to where... Where do I want to go to, by the way? Oh, to the burn system. Sure. Uh, just for funsies, we could probably visit the other ones, but yeah, no, I don't want to go there. To the Nema station. I sure need a better ship sooner or later, probably sooner. I guess sooner would be just fine. Yeah, better sooner than later. By the way, the Nima station actually has something we have everything we that need we can now. use for the trading. The science bomb has been assembled and loaded onto the Vosk freighter. So Urkt, Ugget, and the freighter have arrived already. What do you think about him? He looks pretty calm and doesn't really say much. Seems to be lost in his own world. Hope he doesn't lose his nerve during the mission. We're monitoring to see where the voids will show up next. As soon as we spot them, you and Commander Urk Daggett must get to that location and enter the wormhole. Keith, you'll provide cover for Urk as he heads for the wormhole. Then follow him through once he's made it to void space. Fine. Who's our backup? We'll request support from the nearest station to the wormhole. You have to make sure the freighter isn't destroyed before it reaches the mothership. No Urk problem. will bail out using his escape pod just before the detonation, so be sure to equip your ship with a scanner and a tractor beam. You won't have much time to pick him up, though. Once you've recovered Urkt, get back through the wormhole before the mothership explodes, or it'll take you with it. Good luck, Keith. I'm sure. starting to regret volunteering for this mission. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> right, in the space lot, actually. It's a straightforward assignment. No, talk to you already, Hello. I believe. Hey, you look like a sharp guy. Yeah, uh, let's look at the hangar. Um, how about this ship? No. No. Well, maybe I want that one. No, it actually has a horse. Same turret size, but small secondary weapon. Well, just for once, one more weapon, I don't really think that's worth the hassle. <coughs> one thing that I encountered was the Meal. And this one is the best booster that you can buy without having a blueprint. And uh, I just wanted to uh, exchange that for the Synchrotron uh, Meow. So you can actually see, this is the best that you can buy from human technology. Uh, 160 
for uh, 1200, 1200, no, 120 thousand loading speed, loading speed and a boost duration of 5.6 milli, uh, 5,600 milliseconds. Wow, so many numbers. And uh, the Mial is actually better because it uh, has more boost duration, a equal loading, loading speed, but 40% um, longer effect. So the loading speed is a bit longer, but um, still okay, I guess. So I'm gonna get the synchrotron boost away. Um, something I want to say is about the pro scan. No, the Kingfisher. It does automatic um, front approaches to fish for everything. That's actually a um, even better version. Um, but of course, that is nothing that we want right now. Uh, for funsies, we have to travel to this area, to Maktkesh, to kill, 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 and kill. And uh, by the way, kill, if you don't mind. Um, funny enough, this is actually the last mission of um, this, this game, of the main game, before... Um, the real game was actually released. Uh, no, no, the expansion pack okay, released. Okay, there's the wormhole. Now I have to wait until Erk arrives. Right. Uh, the expansion packs, uh, we're gonna play as well, so... So, uh, we're gonna play all of them anyway. Ah, the reinforcements. Engage the Void Fighters, Lieutenant. So no worries, no worries, no worries. Um, we have a lot more gaming content coming up. And uh, he's like going through the asteroid. No sorry, mister. No sorry. Uh, 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 what the hell did the camera do there? So, you, my dear sir, you're getting full load of it. Bam. That's it. Those were all the things we had to get. <laughs> Funny thing is, if you go through the wormhole first, you will definitely lose. Because you're not uh, supposed to be first in the wormhole. I know it's stupid, but yeah, can't do anything about it, can I? Yeah, I think this is the last mission. I'm, I'm not that forgetful. I've actually played this game twice through before doing this LP. I mean, it was on the iPhone, but the difference is marginal. The graphics is shit. All that jazz. Yeah, shoot at me all you want. I'm gonna get you anyway. And you die. I said you die, thanks. Get into the wormhole. My ship is dancing. You are one slow ass ship. Erg has 99%. So, your task here is um, to keep him alive, especially in the slight event of him being... Huh. No, my, my thing is full. Yeah, especially in the void system, so be careful. He's already through, so... Why are you showing that to me? 
All right. So first and foremost. The board squad didn't make it through the wormhole on time. We're on our own, Act. The mothership is straight ahead. I'm already on a collision course, Terran. Get those fighters out of my path. Yep, that was Roger, my plan. Keep them busy. That was my plan in the first place. So keep the fighters busy basically means just kill all of them. Kill them all. Kill them all. And uh, this will be an easy task. Goodbye. Alright. Fair enough. You're dead. To me, at least. So, there are a lot of more enemies that are gonna spawn as soon as you killed everything else. So always be aware of that. That is actually the mothership. No, it's not. Or is it? Not really sure. Whatever. Well, these things are 10 kilometers away, so no worries about that. So, yeah. That's gonna take a long time till Herc something is is there. There's a load of Watch your status, Herc. Thanks for lagging. Not. Well, Herc. The armor is already damaged. Yeah, that's what I see. You see the tractor beam? Their defense is strong. I hope we pull through. It's trying to get it from far behind. Don't let me down, Jaren. No, I won't. Not a big deal. He's still at 91%. Come on, computer. What the heck, oh man. Stop being a wuss. Not fair. Because you are a good computer, you can run Crisis without any problems. And Crisis 2 for that matter. And probably Crisis 3 as well. Because if there's one thing that Crytek has learned by developing Crisis, is that no one likes games that no one can play because of too harsh requirements for the computer. I mean, if the recommended uh, system requirements for a game are out of the league for anyone to pay for, so um, yeah, then there is something wrong, terribly wrong. So, I think I'm gonna destroy all of these guys and wait for my computer to lag again. Wow, thanks. I think it's actually my hard drive that as it's loud. Maybe I should stop recording. That could be very low key. But I still have a lot of space, I guess. Watch out! They're attacking from the sides! Oh, ye bastards. The engine is damaged. I'm losing control. Great. So what now? Well, that is a scripted event, my dear sirs and madams. And he's just lying there on the mothership. Well, what to do, what to do, what to do. Well, there's only one thing that comes to mind. Um, especially when it comes to alien ships and uh, Independence Day, for example. Yep, so with my pleasure, I'm gonna do that uh, with a nuke, which is fun, because, um, you know, it's totally obvious that you had to kill your your best friend 
with 0% with a nuke. There we go. I can try again by shooting another nuke at you. And thanks, computer, for spazzing out. I don't really like you. Most definitely, most definitely, there was a wormhole, and it totally disappeared into thin air. That's why there is another wormhole right on top of me. Which I, of course, need to dodge, because people are shooting at me all the time. And off we go. Exploding alien station. Well, that was kind of more implosive. What was that? Oh yeah. Come on, computer. Stop being a dick. Thank you. That was good. I did it. Man, that was close. Computer, get me Carla on the line. Keith, are you all right? I was worried about you. Is everything okay? Calm down, Carla. Listen, everything's done. The galaxy is saved, and I'm coming to your place for our date now. Be ready. Yeah. Carla, are you waiting for someone? How about a drink, stranger? Right. So yeah, that was Galaxy on Fire 2. Well, not completely to be exact. That was only the actual first part of the game. Um, but Keith, actually, the wormholes are collapsing all across the galaxy. Thanks, Brent. Well done. Keith. Well, it seems like Keith is a bit busy. Keith. Um, well, probably he's just undressing a lady. Oh yeah, that's the bra. Yeah, so as I said, um, there's going to be a, um, there were two expansion packs, Valkyrie and uh, I can't remember what the second one was because it was actually recently released like uh, one and a half months ago. Um, most of the things that were released on the expansion packs of the game were, first of all, a few missions, and second of all, new ships, um, new achievements, new equipment, new features to the game, all that jazz. So, um, yeah, we're still gonna have some fun with this game. I'm gonna show you a few things that are there. Uh, for example, where the maps are hidden, for example, um, where you could find all the blueprints. Uh, yeah, by the way, Galaxy on Fire is actually a German production, uh, which you can probably see on these uh, very crude names, uh, which kind of seem like German at all. Yep, yep, yep. So, it's about like a team of 15 to 20 people as it seems. All that stuff. Right. Whoa, what a night. I might have had a drop too much. And Carla, good god. Never thought she could knock him back like that. Hey, where is she? I don't even remember her leaving. Well, oh, that's always note. what it is. Keith, darling. Maybe I should have told you that yesterday was my last day on Thino. I'm working on another secret project at a different research facility, so please don't try to find me. All the best for now. Someone with your talents is always needed all over the galaxy. Thanks for last night. Maybe we can do it again sometime. Carla. P.S. 
as final payment for your services to Deep Science will transfer another 40,000 credits to your account. Right. What was that payment for anyway? I'm good, but I'm not that good. Can't help feeling that I've just been used, though. Oh well, whatever. Time for another drink. I hope I can find my way back to the bar. Maybe I'll see if I can land another job while I'm there. Our contract Sir. has expired, Mr. Maxwell. We'll go our separate ways now. So see you in space. That happens when you hired someone, uh, and I think when you dock three times at the station, he's gone. So, yeah. Afterwards, you're, you know, directed Hello. to that one. I have and something that might be of interest to you. I have something special. There we are. This is the first blueprint that you can actually buy, the Jet and Tally. It's not that good of a rocket. I have uh, something special. You have to I get... have something that might be of interest to you. Wait, Beam Shield 2? Uh, that kind of interests me. Let's see, Beam Shield number 2. Oh, that is actually this one. But I bought that for a very reasonable price. 150. 150. Why is that actually 45, 45, huh? Yeah. Because these are two, the same beam shields, but they do have different prices, which I don't get why at all. Whatever. Thanks game for spazzing. I might have inserted frames again. So alien remains are gone. Uh, Hypanium, goodbye. Energy cells, I might keep. Um, this one, I don't need the plating, I can sell the beam shield. So yeah, there are a few more things that we probably want to do, and um, yeah. Um, I guess I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode of Let's Play. Um, Galaxy on Fire, and the next time we're going to start the Expansion Pack Valkyrie. So, thanks for watching and goodbye.